Hey guys, how you doing? So the knuckleball is considered by many as the most difficult shooting technique to learn in the world of football. But I'm gonna be trying to learn it within just one week. So anyway, let's get into day one. The big, big bang, the reason I'm alive, all the stars in this universe It's the youngest son of dirty on the Forbes list. So because today is only day one, I'm not actually going to be taking free kicks any differently to how I normally do. I just want to kind of get a control day to judge my free kicks off of other people's and tomorrow we're going to be analysing them. So let's get into the free kicks. First I think we actually have to pump up all of these footballs. This is going to take quite a while, but I'll get back to you when this is all done. So I've got everything set up now and we're just going to get into the free kicks. I forgot to mention I might put a counter down at the bottom of the screen there or there, I don't know where to count the amount of free kicks I take over the next week. Anyway, let's get back into them. It's going to be a very long day. Like for day one, that's not bad at all. So we're down to the last few shots of the day now. We're just gonna finish up with these shots and then call it a day. We're done. So day one is done. It didn't go as bad as I expected, but at the same time, I could have hit a lot more knuckle balls. I hit a couple here and there, but hopefully over the next week, we're gonna improve a lot. So anyway, let's move on to day two. Yeah. Call Diamond Donnie and Guapo, 20 in the handy in case a nigga. That's way too hot. So today is day two of learning to knuckle ball within a week. We are gonna be doing analysis today. I'm not gonna lie, the free kicks yesterday were pretty bad. We're gonna be looking at a couple different people today. Some of the best knuckle ballers on YouTube in my opinion. So anyway, let's get into it. First up we have a guy called Nico Mankala. In my opinion, he's one of the best knuckleballers on YouTube at the minute. I'm going to be going through the shots frame by frame. So, going through Nico's shot, you can see his run-up is really like Ronaldo's. He's running up on his toes. That's how Ronaldo hit his against Portsmouth. Contact on the ball is actually just very under the centre. If you can see the follow-through afterwards, it's almost instant. Like, the second his foot hits the ball, his foot is on the ground again. Which is how you cancel out the movement on the ball. Technique-wise, it's definitely one of the best I've seen. Really great free kick from him. I'll just play this at full speed so you can see it. Like, little to no movement on that. It's a really good free kick. So next up we have Garrett from Just Knuckle. So starting off with the first shot, you can definitely see his run-up is a lot slower than Nico's. I think it's a lot more controlled and I think Garrett's just really focused on the technique. Again, it's a similar strike to Nico's except look at the way his foot's bend. It's quite weird. His follow-through is extremely short. Like, look how short that is. If I play this on full speed, you'll see it properly, but it's just so quick. It's like instant. Again, it's gonna cut out movement that way. Really nice free kick too. Uh, it's a shame it didn't go in. And now onto my shots. This is going to be embarrassing. Striking wise, you can definitely see there it's starting to replicate Nico and Garrett's technique a bit more. The follow through is still a bit too long, you can see the spin it got. But analysis wise, I think we've learned a lot today. We know how to strike the ball now, we know how to run up to it. Hopefully we're going to get a good few more knuckle balls. So anyway, on to day three. So it's day three today, we're back at the pitch and I'm feeling a bit more confident now that we did the analysis yesterday. Hopefully with the slower run up today and knowing where to strike the ball and how to strike it, we can get a few more decent knuckle balls, so let's get into it. That one wasn't bad. Oh, that was a nice one. That one was nice. Oh, 
one was nice. So day three is done, I noticed it went a lot better than day one. Towards the end of the session I started to knuckle footballs out of technique rather than pure luck, so it's looking good. Hopefully by the end of the week we're going to get a lot more consistent with our knuckle balls, so yeah, let's move on to day four now. So today is going to be tutorial day, I know it's a nice day outside to take some free kicks, but I still feel though we have a lot to learn about how to hit knuckle balls, let's just get into it. At the minute I'm just kind of focusing on the run up and the striking technique. Right now I'm just going to take some notes, watch some tutorials and then I'll give you an update at the end. <laughs> I've taken down quite a few notes from a couple different YouTubers and their tutorials. Hopefully tomorrow, as it's the final day, we're going to get quite a few knuckleballs and hopefully by then we will have learned how to take knuckleballs on a consistent basis. So we've reached the last day of learning to knuckleball within a week. We're going to be pulling off all the stops today. I even got a wall, which I had to drag from all the way over there. It wasn't easy by any means. But anyway, last day today, I know we said a week, but uh, I'm a businessman, we deal in business days. Let's get into it. Alright, so as it's the last day, we really want to be hitting knuckleballs consistently today. I want to really start it off strong, so let's get it. I just hit the best knuckleball I've ever taken and it hit the post. I just wanted to say for the record, the analysis on day two has definitely helped out a lot. Looking at Nico and also Garrett's technique has just completely altered the way I take free kicks. But anyway, back at it. fit so far I mean placement obviously it wasn't in the top corner enough but definitely the movement we got on that and take it over the wall 100% I think it's the best one so far I feel like over the last 10 or 20 minutes we have been lacking on the technique so for the next couple of shots I'm just gonna take it really slow try and hit them dead center and hopefully get a few in The hope it gave me, the hope seeing it sailing in the top corner. And then for it to hit the bar, man. Honestly, you have no idea how good that feels to actually hit one and it to go in the goal in the place you want. Man, like we, we spent an hour at that, but. It feels so good. So I'm gonna call it a week there. At this point, my boots are all soggy. The ground is all dug up over there. The wall definitely made it harder today, I'll say. Um, to get it over the wall, it was definitely harder. So I feel good about it, you know? I feel that we achieved trying to knuckle ball within a week. I definitely feel that our technique 100% improved and I feel a lot more confident now taking knuckle balls. Can it be mastered in a week? I mean, I don't see why not. Um, 
but overall you probably need to spend a bit more time on it I mean I only spent three free kick sessions on it over the past week anyway thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time bye